Does acoustic panel thickness really matter? If I use Room EQ Wizard to make a measurement at my listening position, I can see the early reflections on the impulse response graph. The first spike is the direct sound, and the other spikes are reflections. And adding acoustic panels around my room brought the level of the reflections down considerably. In addition to the time graph, I also saw some improvements on the frequency graph. And the thicker the panels I use, the further down in the frequency spectrum those improvements reach. The impact of panel thickness is even more apparent when looking at a waterfall graph, which shows the time it takes for each frequency in the spectrum to decay in my room. Here you can see the frequencies that linger in my room longer than the other frequencies. It's okay to have some natural reverb in a room, but too much reverb can have masking effects on the music we're listening to. And too much reverb at particular frequencies can have negative effects as well. How do you manage your room acoustics? Leave a comment.